up beauty hags we're back uh i teased last time we were together that we would do concealers because joe and i have fundamentally different skin uh breakouts wrinkled crepiness the concealer should be different they really should be different it's not the same thing so we're going to go through and actually guess what she's chosen a concealer that does do both but anyway we're going to go through her favorite concealers for blemishes and breakouts and mine for a little bit of redness around the nose but mainly for dark crepey under eyes that don't sit in your lines go okay um so i have got the glossier, I love the glossier stretch concealer is the only pop concealer that i really love i really like it and it's it's quite buildable as well so you it's can... a unique weird texture because the reason i would never use a pot concealer under my eyes is because it automatically is a thicker paste right yeah you haven't got any spots at all have you um do you know what i have got at the moment is a lot of like pigmentation well that my no too that's dark for you darling i'm sorry that's the medium uh... that's my one I don't complaint. know, it's not too bad. Okay, that's my one complaint about those. What, the shade? It's shades. a bit like the, um, C C the IT, the IT yeah. The Exnotic CC Cream. There's not enough shades, and also, I am, which is really shocking, because I'm not that dark. I'm something like medium dark. Yeah, I think that... That's dark. I think there's going to be some more shades yeah, coming yeah. through. They're trying. Um, they? Yeah, they're a small brand. it's a small brand. But that... I, that blew me away because I would actually use that under my eyes. I also think... I feel like it's almost like a, just a thicker concealer. Yeah, and you can just add more layers onto it. I'm just would now going like, for it. Yeah, would you <laughs> I'm like, ooh, RuPaul's you know? on the line. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his look back. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say that has just... We've started with a pot that has ruined my theory. Because this is my theory with concealers, right? Little pots for spots bottles and droppers for under eye and there's a reason for that um i really really like this terry barber did my makeup the other day name dropping again this is water light concealer by mac Ooh, unbelievably watery dry. and what's well, the benefit of the water the uh, the idea is it's a serum so it's based in a hyaluronic acid base which if you've got dryness on a spot you do not need to moisturize the spot no, sure. in a way you need it to stay on the spot dry you definitely need to set it with a powder you know that on a concealer if you had a really big bump i had a massive stonker of a spot here i know week. we gave it a name <laughs> little nadine's here <laughs> little nadine little nadine and it was here and it was my fault because it was a tiny little wired and i picked it and then what i did was i put i think i put the glossier on it i might have put the boing on the benefit boing and I dabbed it on and then I set it with my one powder wonder, wonder from beauty pie from beauty pie but the advantage of this is it's just liquid it's really nice it's got a serum in it you can feel it so in other words it hydrates your skin as it conceals it and you don't need to hydrate a spot you only need to hydrate under your eyes yeah. it's nice isn't it I, do you know what usually I don't put I wouldn't put concealer under my eyes because no, I you just wouldn't need to anyway Who well knows? but I think that but it's I am right Terry Barber loves it. That is beautiful. I In fact, really like he that. said to me, to be honest, Nadine, you don't really need the foundation. You could technically just put that down your centre panel. It blends, it moves. That's really Put nice. it with your fingers, put it with a brush. I, I like really that. like it. Okay, so, and then the other one that I really like that has launched recently is the Hourglass one. And this is called Hourglass Veil. And again, I mean, Hourglass is just. Oh, it's such a, yeah. Now, beautiful. this is the thing. Okay, we had this conversation before we came on air. I wouldn't dab that directly onto my skin uh, unless you're going to use it very, very quickly. Because the minute you dab it onto your face, and certainly don't dab it onto a spot, and then you put it back in, you're, you're kind of put in cross contamination. Cross contamination. Okay, so let's do this on the other hand. Okay, so this good? is another. It's unbelievably light serum base. Try that. That I mean, goes something beautifully. Really under Has this your got eyes. hyaluronic acid in it yeah. as well? Yeah. I mean. I'm wearing all the makeup. <laughs> and you've just done the one thing I told you not to do, which is put it straight on your face. <laughs> it's fine. It's... Oh, I didn't know it's No, but it's listening. one thing you do. Okay, so it's fine under your eyes, right? Well, I keep doing this. You haven't got any bacteria or, or not a lot of, around your eyes. But if you use that on your spots, right, and you've got a big open spot, and yeah. you use that on your spot, and you put it on, and you put it back in, and then you put it back in, and yeah. you put it around your eyes, even though this has is has got some sort of preservative in it it has to have it's just not hygienic but the it's thing really is when you've not. got spots you like 
you're touching your face all, yeah, the, time all anyway. the time anyway. Right. So it's kind of But what of I'm like saying is is that's fine because you can wash your hands. Mm. You can never, you can't wash that sponge. No. That sponge will reinfect whatever you touch next time. And I often get emails from people going, my eyelids are really dry and cracking and they're really sore and I don't know what to do. And I go, are you using a click pen concealer, madam? Uh, I don't say that because I don't work on counter. I go, are you, I, <laughs> I don't suppose you're using a sponge or a click based concealer. And they go, yeah, why? And I go, take it out and smell it. What like, does it smell of? Because it, oh, it gets that doesn't smell like of anything. A... But if you take it out and it smells off, yeah. or yogurty, or weird, it's gone off. And it's not that the product's gone off. Your bacteria has gone onto that sponge or onto that brush, which you cannot wash. Oh, I was just going to say, can you not wash it off? No, you can't. But then I guess you're washing product away as well. And you're you? about to mention a product that's brand new, which again, it's a great formulation. But I don't like, like the way the sponge. it's delivered. I don't like that. Is why that is perfect. Because you take it out, you drop it, that never touches your skin, it goes back in. Mm. You get that, right? That, if you go through quickly, is fine. But you dab it under your eyes, it's fine. You haven't got a lot of bacteria around your eyes. The minute you put it around your nose, or you put it on a spot, or something like that, a little bit of snot under your nose, <sighs> whatever pustulating lump, it's all that virus, bacteria, that's all going back into that product. Lovely. Just remember that. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer, which is my, this is my favourite product at the moment. I could probably use this without using, if okay. I was having a good skin day, that I could use this without using a base. That to me is essentially, that is a little bit like that. It's a foundation in a slightly more concentrated form that blends really well, that if you just wore it through your centre panel, you wouldn't need anything else. Yeah, and it's got, it's just, it, it can cover most things. It can, it's buildable so that you can layer it on. You can put it under your eyes. And as an Indian, you can't put any more concealer on under your eyes. I bet I could. <laughs> I could. I bet I could. I know. The beauty hack. Do you know what? I told you I haven't had any sleep. So it's. I can't put on anything under my eyes without doing my mum's. Now bit. we're friends, right? So yeah. I'm just going to use this. Okay. But if so, if I was spotted. Now here's the thing about this, right? Okay. That sponge is so soft so velvety it's it you're not doing it a favor by calling it a sponge because i can't explain it it's almost like a microfiber now here's the thing about this product i love this product the formulation is gorgeous i don't like the sponge oh i love the sponge no 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 no. you love the sponge right oh, I did it again. Oh. you apply it look i've just i'm sitting there under my eyes but okay <laughs> but you wouldn't use the sponge God, the silicones in that, Charlotte, you know how to do a formulation. It's a great formula, it's isn't a, it? It's, that's a volatile silicon. Feel that velvet? That's mm. volatile silicon, that is. That is gorgeous. That has literally just worked on my dark shadows. I love the product. You can't wash this. If you're this woman, and you're applying for RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> you're going to go through this in a week. <laughs> if you're me, that would literally last you two years. Every so often smell the brush and you, you have to throw the whole thing away. Don't judge everyone else by your own standards. <laughs> you mean my clean hygiene standards? <laughs> I personally would be so, not if you don't have skin problems, but if you've got skin problems. You should I be extra cautious be everything, careful, with careful. everything. Eczema, yeah. psoriasis, dermatitis, like my little bit of perioral dermatitis under here. If it, it's flaring up now, the first thing I will do is go upstairs and wash all my makeup brushes. Yeah. Like, because, let's be honest, we don't really wash our makeup brushes. No. But if you've had that a year, that is the equivalent of not washing your makeup brush for a year. But you should wash it. You could wash it. You can't. You can't. You can't wash it. You can't. Sorry. <laughs> and it's a great formulation. Right. I'm going to do... Two... Don't use it on your spots. Directly on your spots. Oh, I wouldn't use it on your spots anyway because it's silicon based. I don't think it's designed uh, for that. The thing is, when I don't think it's designed for spots. But when something covers your spots so well, all you want to do is also, just I know them. we just want to use one concealer. Don't yeah, you? I actually don't think that's formulated for spots. I really don't think that's formulated. It's for spots. formulated for everything. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> right. I'm going to introduce you to something. I, I couldn't get more makeup. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to something called It Cosmetics by By Under Eye. Which again, you don't need because you don't have dark. I circles. found that really heavy. It is 
unbelievably heavy. Oh, yeah, I've... it's unbelievably light reflective, which means you use the tiniest amount. You use a brush, right? She said, squeezing it out. Oh, that's not... oh, there you go. It's unbelievably concentrated. It's, uh, I mean, this is proper. What I would call it's like stage makeup. makeup. It's like stage makeup. This is the thing about it, though. It stays put through thick and thin. TV people use it. It's really, really, really thick. I would use a really dark shade, and then I would literally, I would never put it on the lines and wrinkles. It would no, sit it in the lines and wrinkles. Yeah. You literally just put it on that dark area. But you know what? This is where it works, right? What here? Because oh, no. I've got broken veins around there, right? And I know it's not formulated for broken veins. And it's in really light reflective colours as well. But once it goes on, oh my god, it stays. Again, feel that it's a silicon. As you blend it, it disappears into nothing. So what you left behind is the powder. If you've got under eye dark shadows, there's kind of nothing like yeah, it. Yeah, but I think you should be really careful about how you put it on there. Put the tiniest amount on. And because don't, I try and don't first... take it out here where you've got crepiness or anything like that. It's it's hard. Cool. Yeah, it's not, it definitely wasn't for me that one. one more from you. Okay, one more from me. So this is when I'm having the worst skin, like when my skin is really flaring up. So listen to this because this is, she's got great skin at the moment. Yeah, and, and it's always say, at the moment, right? There's never a sense of this is going to last. It's but also, like, can I just say, it took me a long time to realise that Joe's skin was bad and it was only when we went to, we went to a dermatologist's house, in fact, a cosmetic doctor's house, and she decided to peel Joe's skin. And I saw Joe take her makeup off. And today you took your makeup off, and I said to you, You've you've got makeup on, you promised me your skin looked that good. It really it's looked better. amazing. And it kind of blew my mind. When I, I know. I when know. you took your makeup off, because I had no idea. I know. Ever. And it was lumpy as and, well. And wasn't do you it? remember and she peeled the top off and yeah. it bled? But honestly, what I'm saying is, this woman knows how to cover spots really yes, well. Yes, I think I really and even, do. And don't judge her by today because she hasn't got a spot. No, and also, of course I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? That's what always happens when you spots. Whenever I used to go and see the doctor, and my mum would be like, right, let's go and see the doctor so we can get a referral. Whenever I went to the doctor, I did. Yeah. My skin was perfect. Yeah. It's almost like it's playing against you. It messes with your head. Um, so my last concealer, when I'm really having a desperate time, I can I just say I love this brand? Uh, I This brand needs, more people need to realise how good this brand yeah. is. So this is Bare Minerals um, and I use the concealer in, um, I change it actually in winter and they get different colours. This is medium beige. <gasps> That's my colour! It's really nice. I honestly wore Bare Minerals and we're going to talk about our beauty dirty secrets and one of my beauty dirty secrets is in my early days as a beauty editor I used to sleep in my makeup oh, I still do didn't that. care didn't care and the thing is I was led to believe and I part of me does believe that you can sleep in mineral makeup and it doesn't clog your pores because I, um, it's so inert and so large and I didn't have breakouts and I don't advise it please don't sleep in your makeup but the reason was when I was single and burning the candle at both ends I used to use this and it's just brilliant I and think look, it's and you a could product. almost get up and just go back to go into you can almost buff it back in yeah again. i know <laughs> it's and it does it need a buffer please and don't think please don't think that old school thing about mineral makeup is ashy it's dull it's flat i mean she doesn't like ashy she no. doesn't like dull she doesn't like flat again i'm going to mention sophie beresina again she's using she was using young blood she got into it when she um had medical treatment that left her sensitized to products she loves it her and I are the only beauty editors that love mineral oh, makeup. Oh, I think I, I love this And it's this lazy product. girl makeup at the weekend. Buff, twirl, blah, 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 whatever it's called. What is it? Tap, twirl. Uh, I just like, you just got to work it in. You get and, out what you put in with And it. this is the thing about it is you like a much more glowy look than me. Yeah. It's not flat no, at not. all. And it just covers everything. It will take redness so, but out you the wouldn't spot. put that on with that on a sponge. No, I wouldn't. What I don't would you know do? where. When, if brush? I have a brush, what would I don't you know use? What a I've small done. brush. I just use a really small brush. Make sure it's clean. Okay, and this is after foundation because this is really important. After, because I yeah. never thought you would use a powder concealer. Yeah, no, I. But this is kind of like I don't think of this as a powder. Weirdly, even though obviously it is. It is. I just think of it as like a. 
I don't know, it just does everything. So you wouldn't put any concealer underneath? You'd put your CC No, no, I put my CC put cream on. on. Yeah, and then You've got a off. massive this goes on top. Here. This goes on top. With what? With your finger? With a tiny no, brush? No, with a, uh, like almost like an eyeshadow brush. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I make sure the brush is clean and then I'll just rub it in and then just. Uh, I also get like broken veins around here. I'll use it a bit around there. Usually, uh, when I have the I spots try on my neck, I, I had it here. I know, just put that on. It is like one of my friends has got a birthmark on her face. She uh, uses it. For when that. people say to me they've got really bad spots, they've been battling, they don't know what to do, and you get their skincare in line, and they're using like salicylic acid, and they're using a peel, and they're using hyaluronic acid, and they've done all the right things they should do using niacinamide and stuff like that, and they go, it's still not working. I go, I'm going to make you do one last thing, mm. and you're going to hate me for it. Only use mineral makeup. Why? Only use mineral why would makeup. It, why, why do people hate it? Because they think it's dull and makes. Would the you skin ever look use dead? that just on its own? No, well, that's the concealer. So. But you would you use the big one just on its own. No, and well, that's why. and that's why because you get like a cake face. But you wouldn't get a cake face. You just use that all over, and that's much heavier than the base. And the reason I Maybe say I would. It is you won't get the glowy finish, except that you can put the glow back in afterwards because you can obviously then put your film star glow over the top. Yeah, that's not true. A problem. But the reason is is because this has an inbuilt SPF. It's a physical SPF, and it is such a huge particle it's an inert mineral coated in pigment it sits on the top of your skin it's never going into your pores i sort of feel like that when i'm using this it's not going to make my skin worse no it's not and i just think and usually when you're covering it's spots it's going to make my table filthy i oh, know it's dirty and actually i do end up with like oh god it every when i used to use mineral makeup the whole time on a certain day under a certain light you'd see this fine brown <laughs> <laughs> just all over the mirror it. all over any like like you know the edge of your tiles in your bathroom you've got that lip at the end put your finger down it it would just be basically bare minerals yeah, medium it it's a really amazing brand and i think it's really underrated i love it Shiseido, that would be Shiseido own it now you know they've just signed rosie huntington whiteley what, what does she need bare minerals and i for? well do you know what i bumped into her the other day this i was waiting to interview tiffany masterson and she came through the door and I was just about to say, look at that person, it looks like Rosie Huntington Whiteley, but much younger. And it was Rosie Huntington Whiteley without a scrap of makeup on because Jay's filming here at the moment and she's over here with Jack, obviously her little boy. She's such a nice person. She's that girl that you kind of, she's so beautiful, you want to lick her, she, your mouth waters when you're around. Yeah, she's I love so beautiful, beautiful. I like looking at beautiful but women. But you know what? She's genuinely a really nice person. Oh, good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this spiteful... <laughs> <laughs> and she gets to have sex with Jason, Jason Statham, who I think is completely hot. Anyway, so there. There. So would you actually, if you were having, if a I bad, had to choose one, if you were, no, if you were having a bad spot day, would you put Glossier under that, or no. would you put that over Charlotte? No, I would just go straight to Ben and Ruth and cut off it in. And if I was going to choose one under eye concealer, oh. The one I've left, okay? So if I was gonna choose one concealer, I would choose Amazing Concealer. And essentially what it is, is it's a highly pigmented foundation. That's thick as well, isn't it? It's really thick. But again, it's about how you use it. So again, just on the dark circles, not here, not on the puffy bit, not on the wrinkled bit, just on the dark circles. Then this is one of those multitaskers. You can just go around here, you can buff it out, right? If you like a heavy concealer, it's fine. I first got introduced to it doing TV. If you like a light concealer, it's also fine. What I'm saying about it is, if I had to use one concealer, that would be my one concealer. That, and that's the M&S, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like it's an m You can get it online. Brand. It's got so many shades, it's really good. So there are our favorite concealers. That's how you apply them. All of them. All over. <laughs> They're all on there. <laughs> For me, it's about, because I've got lines and wrinkles, it's about putting it just where it's needed. Literally in that dark shadow there, literally around here and then occasionally on a spot. And mine spots and redness around the nose and... Melasma. Yeah. Which will always shine through. Does it? Mm. You can still see it now. Good, Even though I've got, got oil this, on, this on, this on, this on, this on, this, and this. You can still see this bad boy, look. I, I, I've got a brilliant concealer for you that you need to try, I haven't shown you. What an axe, it's, gonna <laughs> it's, it off. it's called brown paper bag. <laughs> I got there before you, you bitch. <laughs> and that's why we're friends. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are the beauty hags. This is our concealer beauty hacks. I'll put all the products down below, but basically we've tried everything so we know what works. And also we're not Rosie Huntington Whiteley, so we actually do need concealers. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye.